Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at our top stories tonight. An update to a breaking news story. Police have identified the man arrested for a shooting at a mobile home park Tuesday night. 21-year-old Jeremy Wright of Flint is accused of shooting a 29-year-old man multiple times at Fisherman's Cove in Flint Township. Police say Wright attempted to flee and even changed his appearance before he was arrested at his home. Wright faces multiple charges, including assault with intent to murder. The man Wright is accused of shooting was in critical condition Tuesday night and is still hospitalized. Bay City's Feet on the Street will wrap up after Labor Day. During the pandemic, Feet on the Street was utilized as a way to help restaurants dealing with capacity limits to serve more customers. One business owner tells TV5 the streets being closed have opened the door for new business. It's been a great summer. The weather's been beautiful. Um, having the streets closed has been great. People have really enjoyed having dinner out on the deck and uh, enjoying a great cigar out here in the street. It's been a lot of fun. Streets will reopen to traffic on Tuesday. Thousands are heading up north for the unofficial last weekend of summer. Traffic on I-75 in mid-Michigan was definitely heavier, but still moving steadily at 6 o'clock. AAA says traffic will be the heaviest today until 9 p.m. And if you're headed to the UP, a reminder, the Mackinac Bridge will be closed to traffic on Labor Day from 6.30 a.m. to noon during the annual Labor Day Bridge Walk. And for anyone heading back on Monday, the best time to leave is after 7 p.m. to avoid the heaviest traffic. Now here's Diane with your forecast. All eyes are on the long weekend forecast and we have almost a little bit of everything for your Saturday. Plan on some cloud cover to get us started and even the chance for a couple of sprinkles, though that rain chance is going to be very low. It still doesn't sit at 0% highs on Saturday will be into the lower 80s, but those southwest winds that'll be breezy tomorrow will be just as breezy Sunday, taking those highs and launching them into the upper 80s. So a summer like forecast, plenty of sun to go with it all day long on Sunday. Sunday, so grab your sunglasses and the sunscreen. Now let's talk about those rain chances overnight tonight. It'll still be fairly quiet, but by daybreak tomorrow, we'll be watching for some clouds to be coming in and even bringing in a few of those green dots. So it's going to be very spotty and also the moisture is still limited. So that's why we're anticipating a few sprinkles, a little bit of lighter rain. But as we go into the afternoon and your evening, that whole boundary starts to sag south and we'll find that our skies do clear out as we get settled in then towards the later half of our longer weekend. Now highs are still forecasted towards 90 degrees for Labor Day and plenty of sun. The humidity also going to be climbing as we get into the early portions of next week. And we do have a mainly dry forecast, though that moisture builds. We will find then on the opposite side a decline as far as those highs. So as far as what you can expect for next week, have that TV5 first alert weather app ready to go. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.